voters reject a $9 million bond issue to pay for repairs in the Houston School District. The money would have paid for new HVAC systems, roof repairs, lighting, and more. Our Bobby Martinez was in Houston today to find out how people there are feeling about the failed vote. He joins us in the studio. So, Bobby, what are residents saying today? The residents I spoke to today I all hoped that voters would okay the move so that students can learn in a safe and healthy school environment. I think our schools need to be a number one priority. But there appears to be some disagreement among Houston voters on how to get there. A referendum that would have allowed the school district to issue a $9.25 million bond for building repairs and other upgrades failed on a 761 to 655 vote. Allie Thompson says she is upset with the results because these schools are in desperate need. They're disappointed because uh, we have a lot of friends that go to church with us that that are school teachers and they've been telling us about how deplorable the, you know, the rooms and the schools are. So I am very, very disappointed. Another issue that would have been addressed with the bond money, security upgrades. Something Timothy Sumner says is very important in schools today. You shouldn't have to be worried about your children going to school or they shouldn't have to worry uh, of where they're going, whether they're going to be safe or not uh, is, is number one concern actually for me, but um, also, you know, it, schools need to be healthy for the children. Houston Public School Superintendent Tony Cook wasn't available for an interview Wednesday, but released his following statement to WCBI. The people of the district have spoken. The sun came up today and we will continue to provide the best educational experience possible for our students. And if you would like to read a full bond proposal, head over to our website, WCBI.com. Guys, back to you.